te 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 guys i'm standing right under direct sunlight that is what you see here don't you love my dress but yeah i finished getting ready yo those are chickens in our house that you hear in the background i finished getting ready for my grannies i got dressed and now i'm going to manga my imbale <laughs> if you've watched my other videos you would see that um i always i always do it on this side or at least outside of the villages in the north Novamberland, when you go to someone's house you can't go empty-handed well you can if you have bad manners but it's just too weird to go empty-handed so you have to go bearing gifts and that is what i'm going to do now i'm going to to tie my basket with my gifts well for my grandmother it's just a formality i haven't been there since i got here so this is the, the first time but for my grandmother it's a formality because we always take things there um yeah but because it's the first time i'm going there since january and we're in may now i i sort of have to go but the next time i go there i'll just take things in the plastic because then i'm not yeah so i'm going to do wait wait i'm going to do that now i'm going to tie my gifts i'll show you guys what's in there and then we'll get going but let me plug you guys with my tailor look at my dress look at the arm detail look at that and this is a design she came up with herself here up on dito ulapa that's menita i'll leave her number he here if i remember if i don't remember just ask me but um if you've watched my birthday vlog where we went on the floating villa that white dress she also did it if you've watched my vlog where we went talk about our finances with nantenya she also made that so she's she's very good she also made this dress yeah so let me show you what's in my basket okay so this is my basket the chips is just for the kids so it won't be the basket besides it can't fit so we have bread i will probably pick up more bread from the cooker shops then i got jam then i got this five liter of oil oh this is not supposed to be my grandmother's coffee i think someone's reached it out but i'll take it this then five kg and then sunlight and and then sweets so today i think i look very nice guys and then you just do that and i'm going to cover my basket maybe maybe like this yeah can you see everything is matchy matchy <laughs> i'm so happy then you just tie then you just tie your, your your thing like this so this is supposed to be wrap gift paper i guess Look at this. Look at me. Look at my duke. Look at my, my imbalance. So I'm going to go to my grandmother's now. <laughs> like that. Then remove. Hey. Then I put it in my mouth. Then I put Mais nous voulons. Mosquangal, 
I have customers with the same things as my grandmother. Those ones that are loading their things. I offloaded my clients, as you can see behind me. This is what's in. Mangeti fruit. Mangeti fruit. Mangeti fruit. Ah. It's called mangeti fruit. Engete. Okay. So we left here by the police base, the Angolan police base behind me. We are going now. And I'm parked on the road. You can hear a car approaching. <laughs> Dafe diva? Il l'a 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 Where are you? Where Itaka pupsa la shito kashu namo. 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 Itaka that so we need to wash them first. Then we are going to cook them together with the meat. Bye bye. So I'm in my grandmother's as usual. 
my grandmother likes to slaughter uh who have a shallap version as so I always bring my own nose velva or pa di by po kwabaya vel po vasho shot. Ilo aja wa no domego di palenge bumi they are his but she refuses <coughs> yeah so i always bring my own things so she doesn't have to struggle with <coughs> 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 We just cook together the meat. Like. My grandmother decided I must sleep here because of all the dungilange. So I am going to cut. I have to cut the cream. Are you going? Oh, do oh, mangi de. What are you cutting the mango kune? Mem. Wow. This um. You know the omona mango. They actually have marula mm, juice here. Okay, when you go mongo, let me show you guys. Pay for pena. Mahuku. Mahuku. And they are going to. Oh, Mahuku, I'm going to give them my. So they are going to. No, Jove. Oh, I wish I was here for that process. But I will ask them if I can be here for the process and I will capture that for you guys. But let me show you. So, all this is from the ma mongo, marula, yeah. They drank already and it's finished. Now, this, they are going to take, at a later stage, they'll crack it open. Inside, there's like nutty stuff. Where, um, um, so at a later stage after the harvesting, as you can see in the field, they still mahango, then they will start this process. So yeah, so we are going to collect water with my cousins. And then Tavuya Kutamega Kudungilang. Kudungilang. so it's like past five ish so she's boiling her water so that she can get washed it's her water so the water they took it away from Mendina. now oh i'm so glad my grandmother is there's no gender rules. Yeah. This is my my cousin. Poor monk. Yeah. Mendi. Kufa puna me wa impoji. Inopsa? Shiwane, the food is ready. I don't know why my phone is so dark. I have no idea. But we are going to eat now. I have a little one next to me here. As usual, we gather and we eat. Everybody starts. My cousins. Yeah. So you take the porridge is hot. Someone from Ukwaludi say they don't do it exactly like this. They were shocked when they are friend. So you take the porridge like this, then you put on this hand, then you eat like this. So very lenga. Hmm. Can I have another? Where do you want it? 
Then the lorry to eat it, don't you know? Yeah, so you take? Yeah, we just eat like that. Then you have a Oh, you must need a little. Yeah. Okay, now my cousin, you know, we use palm leaves for a lot of things. Eh? This is still palm leaves. You need to put them in there because now they are dry. Now when they are dry, you can't use them as a tie. So we are using them. They are being softened so that they can be used as a tie to tie the sieve. Yoko mango mako. See, she's now tying the rope. She's taking them out. Can you see? They've softened. That's the sieve that she's tying. Today I'm not doing much. <laughs> because in the wind. <laughs> she's that's my grandmother imitating her brother. So now this is our sieve. You guys saw in the other video that our sieve is brown. And my grandmother will just use the charcoal. So you have to tie it onto the to shishifa the malodu. Like so. So we use the calabash to as a mug. Then this is the sieve that my cousin is using. And yeah, the sieve separates the flour, the sorghum, and this liquid will um, overnight and it will be ready for consumption tomorrow. Believe it or not, I'm making them watch our other video. This video that's now on YouTube, I shot it here at my grandmother's. But we are making dinner. I know you guys saw us eating just a few hours ago. But we are making dinner again. We are putting the malodu in the ground so that opote pitiapsa malodu pota pitiapsa tu ngo aturame du meku malodu pota pitiapsa ngo aturame du. Did you cover it no shkumbafa? You know this. There's a lot of love that goes into preparing omalodu during winter, guys. If you just leave it in the open, it will not dry. Our omalodu from last night. So now my cousin is opening. The truth, hey, listen to the sound. 
Today we are going to fish. Remember I told you guys yesterday at my grandmother's there's no electricity. I think my phone held out for quite some time without being charged. It's a 12 Pro Max or whatever you call it. So my battery is going to die soon. So some of the content I might not capture while I'm here. Now we are drinking Omalo. We're drinking this. Mm. 